tentacles, holograms, and intelligent apes. These science fiction smooches show what romance might look like in the future. As a franchise, Star Trek has had its fair share of significant kisses, but its strangest has to have been one between Data and the Borg Queen in Star Trek First Contact. Data is held captive by the Borg to gain access codes to the Enterprise via his neural net. When he meets the Borg Queen, he realizes that she'll do anything to find his weaknesses, including grafting human skin onto his arm, finally allowing him to feel the sensation of pleasure. That isn't the only trick up the Queen's cybernetic sleeve, though, as she eventually pulls Data into an intimate smooch. Featuring brilliant dialogue by Brannon Braga and Ronald D. Moore, this sizzling sequence displays the elements that make the Borg Queen such an iconic baddie, from her erotic energy to her gentle mannerisms. It's easy to see why Data would fall under her spell. Plus, Brent Spiner and Alice Krieg do a great job of playing off of the conflicting elements of their characters. Data embodies innocence while the Borg Queen evokes a mix of danger and maturity. This makes their kiss a fantastic representation of the duality their relationship represents. She was unique. She brought me closer to humanity than I ever thought possible. In the realm of science fiction, a kiss can do some incredible things. In Guillermo del Toro's The Shape of Water, Eliza, a mute cleaning lady who works at a secret lab, discovers the amphibian man, a humanoid aquatic creature kept inside the facility. As their relationship progresses, Eliza and her new friend form a unique romantic bond that puts them into some dangerous circumstances, especially once the evil Colonel Strickland discovers their whereabouts. When Strickland shoots Eliza, it's up to the amphibian man to save the heroine's life in the only way he knows how, through an underwater kiss. While some viewers might scoff at the mere sight of a fishman kissing a human woman, there's a lot to be said of the emotional significance of this scene. Not only does this moment speak to Del Toro's romantic side, but this kiss perfectly bookends Eliza's story. She dreams of finding a place to belong, but because of the way her life panned out, she's always felt on the outside looking in. Thanks to the amphibian man's abilities, her childhood scars have become the key to her survival. She finally has a place to belong alongside the creature, who understands her better than anyone. It's no wonder that this fantastical romance took home the Best Picture Oscar in 2018. While many of the kisses on this list have a genuine romantic feel, a few serve a more comedic purpose. Take, for instance, the iconic smooch from Galaxy Quest, when Fred Kwan and Thermian crew member Laliari embrace in quite the quirky fashion. In the scene, Fred, Laliari, and Guy are watching Fred's successful use of the digital conveyor on a video monitor. To celebrate, Laliari begins to frantically kiss Fred leading the pair to get more intimate as she reveals her true form. From the over-the-top acting by Tony Shalhoub and Missy Pyle to the fantastic comedic timing of Don Zimmerman's editing, this scene wonderfully balances emotions and laughs. Sure, Fred and Laliari are as unlikely a couple as any, but that makes them charming. We all want to find someone who accepts us for who we are, alien tentacles and all. Plus, Sam Rockwell's reaction as Guy to said canoodle is icing on the cake, making it clear why this movie remains so beloved. Oh, that's not right. No. Romance can come in many interesting forms in the world of sci-fi, and among the most fascinating examples is the relationship between Jake Sully and the Navi princess, Neytiri, in James Cameron's Avatar. Despite the warranted narrative criticisms the blockbuster has drawn over the years, Jake and Neytiri's love story is one of the more captivating aspects of this flawed yet gorgeous film. Look no further than the moment where the couple embraces by the tree of voices. Featuring a stunning color palette and delicate performance by Sam Worthington and Zoe Saldana, this kiss is one for the ages. Yes, the connecting of the hair tendrils and the erotic nature of everything happening at the moment is a lot to handle, but there is a genuine sense of romance within the scene. Simply put, Jake and Natiri's story is about love knowing no bounds between time, space, and species. While Cameron isn't the most nuanced storyteller, this particular sequence says exactly what it needs to, with some of the most stunning CGI visuals ever put on the silver screen. 
In the original Planet of the Apes, audiences follow Charlton Heston as George Taylor, an astronaut who crashes on a mysterious planet that's supposedly 300 light-years away from his home solar system. It's not long before he and his remaining crew are taken captive by a society of highly evolved apes whose speech and intellect match their own. One of the apes our hero encounters is Dr. Zira, a chimpanzee psychologist fascinated with human behavior. She especially grows fond of Taylor, and as much as she doesn't want to admit it, Taylor slowly begins to like Zira, too. Doctor, I'd like to kiss you goodbye. As the film nears its iconic conclusion, viewers see Taylor part ways with his new ape friend with a goodbye smooch. All right, but you're so damned ugly. Whether you interpret the kiss as a weird sign of romance or a symbol of friendship, this sequence does a great job of bookending Taylor and Zira's quirky relationship. While they have a lot of bumps along the way, their bond is fueled by a desire to understand each other as misfits in their societies. That's why it makes perfect sense that their kiss symbolizes them finding acceptance in each other, despite coming from different worlds. Plus, the hilarious reactions from the other characters in the scene give the film one last light chuckle before its bone-chilling twist ending. While most of the movies on this list are considered good in the conventional sense, Jupiter Ascending is entertaining for all the wrong reasons. From its bizarre plot to its hilarious performance from Eddie Redmayne, this Wachowski sister's creation continues to boggle the minds of audiences. In a universe with shape-shifting aliens and bees that can sense royalty, the relationship between Jupiter Jones and Kane Wise is easily the most confusing thing of all. Is it because their romance sounds like it was an abandoned plot point from a 90s anime? Or could it be Jupiter's attraction to Kane being part dog? It's hard to pick a simple answer, but one thing is for sure, their final on-screen kiss is as fascinating as their wacky love story. The scene starts with the two, casually sitting atop a skyscraper as they get ready to fly around in space boots. As the scene progresses, though, it becomes pretty clear this sequence only exists to show how hot and bothered Jupiter is about Kane, especially when she sees his cybernetic wings. Their kiss is a beautiful sight to behold, mostly because Mila Kunis and Channing Tatum are both very nice to look at, but the campy nature of their performances, mixed with the oddity of the film's tech and lore makes this a noteworthy sci-fi smooch. Not every kiss has to be romantic. Case in point, the moment where replicant Roy Batty meets his creator Eldon Tyrell in the original Blade Runner. In this scene, we see Batty and genetic designer J.F. Sebastian enter Tyrell's luxury penthouse. With an intimidating stare, Roy continues to come closer to his maker, demanding that his artificial existence be extended. However, the pair find no solution to prevent Roy's impending demise. So the replicant gives his creator a powerful kiss that leads to his ultimate end. Filled with a number of religious and scientific references, this scene walks a tightrope of being simultaneously strange and meaningful, allowing actor Rutger Hauer to chew the scenery while also flexing his dramatic acting muscles. However, what truly makes this a truly memorable smooch is the cinematography by Jordan Cronenweth, who captures the raw intensity and slight campy edge of the sequence in the most cinematic way. Ultimately, this scene might weird out certain audiences, but for those who appreciate multi-layered filmmaking, this kiss is a tour de force. I've done questionable things, also extraordinary things. Revel in your time. When Blade Runner 2049 hit theaters some 35 years after the original, it carried on the tradition of notable kisses. In this installment, Kay and his girlfriend, Joy, have anything but a typical relationship. Joy is a virtual girl who Kay purchased to fill the void of his incredibly lonely existence. But she can't provide him with the kind of tangible relationship that humans crave, being a hologram and all. That's where Mariette comes in. She's a replicant sex worker hired by Joy in the hopes of fulfilling the couple's genuine missing link, sexual intimacy. With Joy projecting herself onto Mariette's body, the three embark on a strange erotic journey that begins with a kiss and goes to even more fascinating places. From its first frame to its last, this sequence brilliantly juxtaposes the uncanny yet sexy nature of the characters' actions. As the scene progresses, they become in sync with each other. Joy shifts from shy and nervous to confident and in control. Ultimately, this sequence works as well as it does because it respects the sexuality of its characters without degrading them.
Some sci-fi kisses have the power to leap through decades, which is very much the case with this particular moment from Jean-No Schwartz's Somewhere in Time. In this movie, playwright Richard Collier travels back to 1912 to meet stage actress Elise McKenna. After spending some quality time together around the grounds of the Grand Hotel, Richard escorts Elise back to her room, where he asks if he can spend just one more moment with her. Though initially hesitant, Elise lets him in increasing the already obvious tension between them. As Richard slowly makes his way to Elise, it becomes clear that their conversation won't require any words. Though it might seem strange, the genius of the kiss is due to the actor's subtle choices. Jane Seymour gives Elise a multidimensional element. It seems that the character has never known what true love feels like. Similarly, Christopher Reeve does a great job of portraying Richard's intense love for Elise, making it seem as if he has also been waiting a lifetime to kiss someone with such passion and tenderness. While the scene is odd if you overthink the time travel elements of the couple's relationship, it's hard to ignore its beauty. Luc Besson's 90s classic The Fifth Element follows its own beat. Lilu, a divine being destined to save Earth from destruction, just happens to fall into the cab of taxi driver Corbin Dallas. As the narrative twists and turns, the unlikely pair find themselves together on more than one occasion, eventually leading them to form a romantic connection that has the power to protect the planet. While many moments show the couple's adorable chemistry, their embrace inside of a recovery chamber during the film's finale perfectly closes this unique sci-fi movie. Beginning with a couple of jokes and ending in a moment of passion, this final moment puts Besson's distinctive brands of humor and romance on display. While a more traditional director would have concluded the movie with the pair kissing as the sun sets, this approach not only pays off earlier jokes set up in the film, but also feels like it fits the unusual nature of Lilu and Corbin's relationship. Plus, with the smooth sounds of Eric Serra's Little Light of Love, playing as Bruce Willis and Mila Jovovich's eyes magically meet, the scene embodies the sparkly magic of what kissing your favorite person feels like.